You'll get your focus work. Say focus work. Focus work. Set. Go. Yeah. Greeting. Greeting. Body. Body. Closing. Closing. What we're working on is being problem solvers. It's really nice to have one goal you're really working on for them. And I was like, okay, if we know two plus two equals four, four and one more is? 10 plus 10 equals 20, oh well. So 10 plus 11 equals 20. What? Math task cards, I'm calling it math mission with the kids. Hi, sweet friend. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene Call from Mrs. Call's Campers. If you're new here, I am a first grade teacher in Las Vegas. This is my fourth year of teaching. I'm not even sure what week we're in now. We're in November. It's November 14th. This is our only full week of school in November, so I wanted to make sure that I could film it for you because I'm pretty sure I didn't film anything last week because it was so crazy. So last week we were only in school three days one of those days we had like a school house day so we were not with our own kids all day long we are how do i explain okay <laughs> my school we do the house system and each teacher is a house parent to kids in every single grade so we are a k-5 through school so all day on last wednesday i had kindergartners first graders second third fourth fifth graders and we kind of do just like team building activities and get to know our house and then in the afternoon we had a little ceremony to basically recognize kids in our five houses i'm gonna do a video that explains the house system at some point um but I want to wait because this is my first year at this school and the school I was at before that had the house system did it a little bit differently. So anyways, last week we had a house day and then we also had STEM day. So we really only had one day of actual normal school last week. So I didn't even bother filming this week. Um, I don't even have a lot prepped because it's our only full week of school in November. I am focusing on gratitude. So I'm going to read, um, Bear says thanks, which I actually started a week ago. <laughs> Bear says thanks. I already read last stop on Market Sheet Street in those shoes. I don't know what we're doing, actually. I have no idea. I just know it's going to be super, super simple. Oh, I might take some time um, this morning. and Or I might just fly by the seat of my pants. I honestly, I don't know. Uh, this is the most unorganized <laughs> November I feel like I've had ever. We haven't even done a directed drawing, and it is November 14th. So we might even do that today. <laughs> We will see. And then next week is week of Thanksgiving. So we're at the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. So we only have a school Monday and Tuesday. So if, you, if you're if you a teacher in November or even any time during the holidays, you know it's just, it is what it is. You'll get your focus work. Say focus work. Focus work. You need to do this by your? No. This is work you do by yourself. So Miss Call knows what's in your brain. This helps me help you, right? Right? Yeah. After your focus work, you're gonna do? Rocket math and freckle. Rocket math and then freckle. This needs to be fast. Can we do rocket When you are done, hold on. When you're done with rocket math and then freckle, you're gonna do your math mission. Our math mission looks similar to before. This one is sums in space. This one is word problems. I've already shown you how to do both of these. We're trying it with our quizzes. So this one, this is the letter H in the very corner. You see H? <laughs> very bottom corner, this is H. Three plus six is? Nine. Nine. It's okay. So in my H spaceship, I'm going to write the answer. When my paper is done, when all my spaceships are full, I'm going to take it to my seat with my computer. This is what we're going to practice today. And we're going to put the answers in quizzes. Now you're a double star. You get the best of the world. Two plus two is four. Four plus four is eight. You get the best of the world. Three plus three is six. And you know eight plus eight equals sixteen. If I'm on this side, if I'm on this team, I'm only writing the answer for this one. If I'm on this side, if I'm on this team, I'm only writing the answer for this one. Team one, team two. Okay, both teams get a point.
Sixteen. Sixteen. What? Zero. considering we didn't necessarily have a full plan. So for writing, we did kind of like a shared writing for Bear Says Thanks. Just talking about what we're grateful for. And then they did their own. So it turned out like this. Some of them had the idea to make a cute little paw print. So they did their own. For math, I taught them how to do quizzes. It actually went okay. It's hard because they, I just did not have their attention today. They just did not want to listen. I felt like I was constantly getting on them about keeping their attention on me so days like that are just exhausting and such a struggle but we got through it I guess they thought quizzes was really really fun um so I'm gonna call that a win in my book so we practiced doubles we actually did knockout sorry before we did the quizzes we did knockout but I did it in teams because I wanted everybody to be practicing those doubles normally when you do knockout one person comes up at a time and does it but because this is a new skill i wanted everyone to practice writing it and kind of getting that muscle memory with those doubles so i still put them in two teams but i had them all writing the problem and answer for their team we didn't do much else besides that our phonics today was a mess which is funny because we have a bunch of student teachers at our school and they are pretty much done with you can't see me they're pretty much done with their placements and so a couple of them were in here today and i'm like man this was like the worst day because normally my kids are very like active and participating and today they were just like not even there so love that for me so overall not the best day with them but not the worst day at the same time normally our mondays are a lot better than this so it's it's just disappointing in that sense but i'm gonna head to my doctor's appointment and i will see you tomorrow it's taylor swift tickets day I did not get um, a pre-sale code, but Georgina did, so we're okay. And her friends in Arizona also did get a pre-sale code. We're trying to go to the Arizona show with them, opening, opening night or second opening night, whatever we can get. And we want to go to both shows here in Las Vegas. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I'm going to be headed to her room this morning. Also, I brought this, it's maple streusel bread. Um, for my kids for our little pajama day thing we're probably just gonna do something as like a kinder and first grade class together so they will have their pajamas and we'll go to Georgina's room I'm gonna go ahead and get their little bears up on that back wall today at some point we're also gonna be doing a directed drawing for November because November is almost over and I'm a failure but in other news we have practiced bathroom stars what else have we practiced? Um, carpet stars. Carpet stars. And we practiced? Spooky great transitions. Spooky great transitions. Now what we're working on is being problem solvers. So these are now going to be problem solver stars. Miss Call is always watching for problem solvers. Even on the playground. Even on the playground, buddy. Everywhere. 
If I see, yes, everywhere. If I see someone being an amazing problem solver, I will add a star to this jar. And I will also call your name out so we can celebrate you. Do I want you to come up to me and tell me, Miss Cole, I'm being a problem solver? No. No, because I can see it. I need to see, yes, I need to see you doing it. So, instead of arguing over headphones, what would a problem solver do? Get another one. Get another one? What else? I want to see you practicing your strategies with your friends. If someone's bothering you, what would a problem solver do? Debug. 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 Okay, we are going to try to fill this jar for another super secret surprise. I'm looking for problem solver. Our level up time, what are you supposed to be doing? Reading. Reading, so should it be loud in here? No. Not at all. It should not be loud in here at all. We said the main idea, the one thing that the author, excuse me, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. The author was trying to teach us the most important thing, I feel like I have to sneeze, yeah. was what? Yeah, he wanted us to learn how to be grateful. We're gonna read a book today about a little girl who's writing a thank you letter. What are some reasons we might write somebody a thank you letter? Who's got ideas? Thank you for raising your hand. Oh, okay, so you might write someone a thank you letter if they give you something. Why else might you write someone a thank you letter? If someone does something for you, you might write them a thank you letter. A thank you letter shows appreciation. Can you say that word? Appreciation. Appreciate is one of our vocabulary words. When you appreciate something or someone, you're grateful for them. You're thankful for them. Dear Millie and Billy, thank you for my sparkly shoes. Love your favorite cousin, Grace. Hugs. What do all of her thank you notes have in common so far? Hands up if you can tell me. What do they all have so far? There's a couple things. Um, love, Grace. Love, Grace. This one's done here, you can't see it. Love, Grace. Who can tell me something else all of her letters have? X. They all have an X. She kind of used that by her name, right? Love, Grace. Hugs. They all have an X on there. They all say dear. What is it? Where did they say dear? At the beginning. At the beginning. Dear Nana and Grandpops. Dear Millie and Billy. Dear Tay. Thank you for. Thank you for. Hello. Dear reader, thank you for reading this book. Love, Grace. Hugs. Oh. Same mean idea. Yeah. It's the most important. It's the most important thing the author wants you to know. It's the author wants you to know. Say it again. Main idea. Main idea. It's the most important. It's the most important thing the author wants you to know. It's the most important. Okay, the author of this book wrote us a book about a story. Sorry, wrote us a story about a girl named Grace who loved to write thank you notes. But why do you think the author wrote this book? What about this book makes us feel something or teaches us something? Why do you think she would write this book? Absolutely, she was teaching us that when Grace writes these thank you letters, it made the people that got the letters feel so good inside, right? One way we can be kind to someone is writing some thank you letters. Why else do you think our author wrote a story about a little girl who loved to show her appreciation? Yeah. I agree. She was teaching us to be thankful for different people in our life. Okay, so, Grace showed us so many examples of thank you notes or thank you letters. Letter. A letter is a note that you send to someone else. So I want you to see if you can remember in your brain what was the word she always used to start her thank you letter? See if you remember. Who remembers? Tell me in three, two, one. Dear. Dear. Good. And that is a way to greet someone. It's telling you who the letter is for. Dear mom. Dear Miss Call. All right. Capital letter. Ready? Superstar, five big goals I know by heart. Capital letter, always first. Finger spaces between words. 
Sound them out the best you can. Punctuation at the end. Go back and check. We do our best. All right, so when we do our greeting, we need to capitalize the first letter. Say dear. dear. Roller coasters ready? D e Watch me. Get all of our letters. Always start at the top. Tall line down. And then we're going to make it big. Ready, D? How are we going to spell? Uh, how are we going to spell the cat, the, I'm um, sorry, the superhero E sound? E A. It's one of our vowel teams. When two vowels go walking, the first one does the. So in this vowel team, and it's called a vowel team because there's two vowels. What's the first letter? E. E. So it's going to say E. Do we hear that A? No. No. The E has the megaphone. D R. The special mark that she used after somebody's name. Thumbs up if you see it. Thumbs up. X. Okay, ready? Dear Tay. What's that? Comma. It's a comma. A comma tells us to pause, take a breath. So we read it. Dear Tay. Thank you for the magic wings. Okay. When we get back from lunch, we're going to write a thank you letter as a class. We learned all of the pieces to a what? You can tell me. A letter, but what kind of letter? Thank you letter. We learned that there are three important pieces for a thank you letter. The green is greeting. Say greeting. Greetings. The yellow is the body. Say body. Body. And the pink is our closing. Say closing. Closing. Greeting. Greeting. Body. Body. Closing. Closing. Greeting. Greeting. Body. Body. Closing. Closing. We need all three of those pieces for it to be a letter. The greeting tells us who we are writing to. So if you are writing a thank you letter to your dog, you would say, dear. Dog. Oh, you don't, your dog doesn't have a name? Oh. Dear. Hey. Dear Tesla. And then we need that little important mark. It's called a. It's called a. What is it called? Comma. Say comma. 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 Dear Tesla, comma. Thank you for what? Being the best dog ever. And then I can tell some more things. And then we can close it by saying from or love. That's one thing I really want you to practice. Think first, then write. Brainstorm, brainstorm. Okay. Greeting. Body. Closing. It's up there for you too. Greeting. Body. Closing. We also have our persuasive words. Miss Call's gonna put these here. Do we need to use the negative ones? No, we just want to use here. The positive ones. I'm gonna read them for you again. Terrific. Flavorful. Flavorful. Do you think I should tell Tesla that she's flavorful? No. Then I mean she's food. No. Beautiful. Yeah. Best. Best. Oh, I used that word. Attractive. Yes. Attractive. That means someone looks good. Delicious. No. 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 Let's go think Tesla looks delicious. I cannot yeah. tell my dog she looks delicious. She's going to yes. think I'm going to eat her. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Favorite. Favorite. Like Adore. Adore. Yeah. Like Love. Love. Enjoy. It was windy outside. Okay, I have more to share with you today than I did yesterday. So um, let's start with writing. I went ahead and moved our, like our sentence strips creations that we did together. So there's our greeting, our body, and our closing. I moved it to the writing center, but we wrote a letter together. I wrote a letter to my dog, Tesla. So here's that. I did record it. However, my phone died in the middle of it. So I don't know if it, it's saved or not. But if I have it, here it is. Um, for math, we did doubles again. They are rocking the double superstar song. I mean, they have been singing it, screaming it, <laughs> loving it. Um, but again, my phone was dead. So <laughs> the hard thing is I'll upload videos to Class Dojo and it like totally kills my battery. But the way I'm structuring math now, I will show you. It's working out really well. It's only day two. I just like, I switch it up so much because 
it's been hard with this class. So first thing they do is their focus work. Um, so for today, it was just a doubles practice sheet and doubles, like it's something that they have to memorize. So repetition. So it's literally just a sheet with a bunch of doubles. Um, some of them can do it in their heads already. Some of them are still having to use um, a double buddy, which I will print and give to them, but I'm not printing and giving it to everybody yet. I'm just putting it on the board. So they do their focus work. After that, two of our school programs, Rocket Math and Freckle, after that, their math mission, which I told you we practiced yesterday for the first time. I'm just keeping it up front on the floor by the board. And they did a really, really, really good job with it. So they filled out their sheet, got onto quizzes.com, put in the code, put in the code, and they put their answers into quizzes. Then after that, they just turn their paper into me and that way I know it's done. Such a mess. <laughs> and then after that, they can just do math games. So hopefully, once they kind of get the hang of it and the flow and I don't need to remind them as much, um, I'll be able to pull groups during this time because it's a lot of independent work after our whole group. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Georgine is also in here because we're trying to get to get Vegas tickets. We already got Arizona tickets. Arizona tickets. Tell them. Opening night floor seats. Opening night floor seats. We're so excited. She didn't say it exciting enough. Oh, sorry. Opening oh, sorry. night. No, but now this is where we are like nowhere <laughs> um and i'm just gonna hang up work and we're gonna try to get taylor swift tickets okay we got floor seats vip package for vegas's first show we're gonna try tomorrow with the capital one sale to just get like nosebleed tickets just to see her again um as long as they're not insane because the floor seats were a little expensive but i did tell myself that this um last sponsorship I was doing with 99 math on TikTok and Instagram. I was like, this is paying for my Taylor Swift tickets. And it did. And so I am so freaking excited. Floor Seats Arizona, VIP in Vegas. We're gonna have the best time. Time. These are my school photos. I have a huge freaking pimple. My cheek, forgot about that. Came out pretty good. These might be my favorite school photos I've ever had actually, minus that pimple. Little butterfly clip, so cute. Doing me just as butterfly clips work. It's sad though, normally at my other schools we're given like stickers with our face on it. And I usually love the stickers, but. I got a package from Kenneth Eileen, or Kenneth Island, I don't know how to say it. Is it Island Eileen? For Star Does Hand Explosion Jives. Thank you for all you do for those kids and for us viewers, Miss Call is the best. That's so nice. Thank you for sending the last plushie that I needed for my Pokemon room transformation that I like to do with measuring. I had the Pikachu and I had Jigglypuff and like Bulbasaur, I think, and I won it at like a Dave and Buster's. So I put Charmander and Squirtle on my Amazon wish list, and I already got Charmander, and now I have Squirtle. So we have all of the types. Well, not all the types, not like poison and all that, but you also were so generous and sent me a new paper cutter, which I'm so excited about because mine was old. It was from, it was from my first year teaching and that was like four years ago. The other one literally got lost. So I am so incredibly thankful. We're branded. Oh, I don't know if I told you earlier, but we have new stars for our reward jar that I keep at the very front of the classroom right up here. It's by Textures by Maria. It's the same thing as my smart cookie jar, which is so funny because when we were in Miss Martinez's room, in Georgina's room, one of my kids was like, Miss Cole, she has the same cookie jar you do. And I was like, yeah. And she was like, I bought it because of Miss Cole. And the girl just goes, well, it's pretty good. This is the jar that I have that has nothing on it because I use it for literally whatever skill we need to be working on. So we've done bathroom stars using the bathroom the right way. We've done carpet stars coming to the carpet the right way. We did spooky great transition. So transitioning from activity to activity. We're doing problem solver stars. Let me focus you. Okay. We've just been having so many arguments or miss call, miss call, miss call. So we're doing problem solver stars. And I actually really like this jar not having anything on it and being able to swap it out so I have she actually sent me a bunch of different like tokens to put in it which I think is really nice um because a lot of people have bought jars bought in. a lot of people have purchased jars so I thought it was nice that she was like you know what here's some here's some different little tokens you can put in there they always say whenever you 
like when you start teaching, they always say, oh, like focus on one thing your first year, focus on behavior management or focus on this or focus on whatever. But you can also apply that, which I mean, you should, I, I think you should work on everything um, and every class is different. So saying that you're going to focus on behavior management one year doesn't make sense to me because you should be doing that every year. <laughs> but anyways, you, you understand what they mean, just the basis of it. In the classroom, it's really nice to have one goal you're really working on for them. Like, let's make sure we get this right. Because after I focused on our bathroom stars and using the bathroom the right way, it's been so much better. Um, carpet stars, they totally know my expectation front and back. And they love getting to earn those, and it's kind of like something we can check off of our list so it's working really well for me um, I'm gonna go home I'm gonna sleep really really well <sighs> today was a good day hello good morning today is Wednesday I wanted to make a shirt this morning here at school and I got the design ready I have my shirt right here this red sweatshirt and I left my roll of vinyl in my office at my house because I was originally gonna make it this morning Trying to hunt down some white vinyl probably won't happen today, which is really sad because I really wanted to make it. All right, we already found adjectives. We already found nabs. Nabs. What's the Nows. word? Nouns. Our green crayon is. Uh, verbs. verbs are something you do. do. Something you do. Okay, ready? Turn your voice up when we read a verb. Here we go. Five plump turkeys. Sitting. Good. You turned your voices up because sitting is something you can do. On the ground, the first one whispered. Nice job, first grade. We're getting. That one was a little tricky. I noticed. Hold on. Miss Call doesn't want to yell. I noticed some of you weren't sure about that, but can you get something? Is that something you do? Yes. Mm -hmm. And zero plus itself is zero. You get the best of all worlds. Two plus two is four. Four plus four is eight. You get the best of all worlds. Three plus three is six, and you know eight plus eight equals sixteen. You get six plus six equals twelve. Yeah, you get nine plus. What my doubles could be. Raise your hand. Now, A plus A equals 16. 16. Good. What about if my answer is 17? Who knows what my numbers could be? No. A plus 9 because it's a double plus 1. Okay, ready? Let's see if you can figure out my double plus 1. You know 5 plus 5 is 10. So 5 plus 6 is 11 because it's a double plus one, how about this? 10 plus 10 equals 20, oh, whoa. So 10 plus 11 equals 20? One. One, right? A double plus one. You know four plus four equals? Eight. Eight. So four plus five equals? Nine. Nine, okay. Now I'm gonna use it with just my voice. I'm so glad you think it was easy. Ready? One plus one is? Two. So one plus two is? Three. Okay, two plus two is? So 2 plus 3 is? 5. Okay, 3 plus 3 is? 6. So 3 plus 4 is? 7. Okay, 4 plus 4 is? 8. So 4 plus 5 is? 9. 5 plus 5 is? 10. Okay. So 5 plus 6 is? 11. 6 plus 6 is? 12. So 6 plus 7 is? 13. 13. Good. 7 plus 7 is? 14. So 7 plus 8 is? 15. 8 plus 8 is? 16. So 8 plus 9 is? 17. I'm going to do them out of order. 9 plus 9 is? 18. So 9 plus 10 is? 19. Because it's a double plus 1. 5 plus 5 is? 10. So 5 plus 6 is? 11. Okay. 7 plus 7 is? 14. So 7 plus 8 is? 15. Hello, it's after school. 
Also, I'm wearing a different shirt. House of Tenacity at our school, which you guys have seen me wear my Tenacity shirt before, but I was like, how cute would it be to have an ugly Christmas sweater version? And look how cute it is! Oh my gosh! And our little, like, house, um, it's a mascot, I guess, is a coyote. Um, and I thought it came out super cute. It's not Thanksgiving, but I feel like I can still pull this out, so I got that made today. Actually, it was like a team effort. I don't know if I already said this, but I had high hopes at the beginning of the week because it is like our only full week in November, but it seems like we're just kind of like filling in gaps this week. Like my phonics, I'm just doing reviews. So we just practice making different words and some of the words we practice are not even words that like first grade would be even do, like the word participate, but somebody said it and I was like, okay, let's try it. And like we had all of the resources to help us spell the word. So we just were kind of having fun with words this morning for our phonics, we did our poetry. Um, and then we did our directed drawing. This little turkey guy friend up here. And I sent them home because the mom's gonna cut them out for me. I wanna do for our directed drawings this year, the directed drawing, but then cut it out and like put it on another paper that they watercolor a background on. Instead of doing it all on the same paper, I just wanna like try it out because in the past, whenever they've watercolored on the same paper that they drew, like it just got kind of like messy. So I'm just trying something new. I don't know. For our writing, we did thank you letters um, to different people in the school. And I told them they had to do a thank you letter for someone else and then they could do one for me because they were all like, I wanna write one to you. And I'm like, I'm literally here with you every single day. Do someone else first and then do me later. I said it much nicer than that. Um, but their notes are so sweet and I just love, I just love it. Some of the things they say are also so funny. Dear Miss Call, you are the best teacher in the world. You always draw so nice. Thank you for helping me always. <laughs> it's so cute. One of my kids wrote a thank you letter to a friend yesterday and they were like, you make my heart explode. And I was like, that is the cutest thing I've ever heard. Dear Miss Call, you are fun and am amazing. I love how he used his vowel team here, actually. You are fun and amazing and nice. Sweet and kind, you do really fun stuff. Sometimes <laughs> at this class, I feel like I'm not very fun. I feel like I'm very serious with them a lot of times because I there's just no wiggle room with some of my kids. And we had, like, we even had a fire drill yesterday and I had to talk to two of my kids' parents because they were not taking it seriously. And then we were on lockdown today and I had to talk to another parent and it's just it's just a lot sometimes and it's really frustrating in situations like that because from the day to day you know you work around it you can handle it but like in emergency situations it's so frustrating to have yeah to just have that <laughs> happening so we did not have time for a full math block today because we were doing or we had a lockdown so we did our double song they they sing it so well now they like scream it um what i'm really interested in is the chorus the other part is like just for fun kind of like with our, our sky's so cool song it starts spent 24 hours part of earth's patterns it's true the earth is spinning on its axis Ooh, that's like the intro part of it and then the chorus is the earth is spinning on its axis it is rotating in its orbit yeah yeah I want them to just know the chorus. The other part is like just for fun. So the chorus of our double song is you get the best of both worlds. Two plus two is four. Four plus four is eight. You get the best of both worlds. Three plus three is six. And you know eight plus eight equals 16. The best of both worlds. You know five plus five is 10. 10 plus 10 equals 20. Oh, whoa. When you know your doubles pretty well, you know six plus six equals 12. Yeah, you get nine plus nine equals 18. And zero plus itself is zero. So I want them to just know the chorus of it and the rest of it, like if they know it, that's great. But then we went into doubles plus one and I would have recorded this but I've been uploading videos to class dojo um, which I'll talk to you about in a second so I didn't have any battery left but basically I put up a double equation let me get my whiteboard but I put this equation up on the board first and I was like does anybody think there's a double hiding in this equation and some of them were like what are you talking about and then they realized two is in the three so then I was like okay if we know two plus two equals four Four and one more is, and then they told me, so we could answer it that way. So I did dots for the first couple of them. So like, I don't know why whenever I go to talk to you guys about something after the fact, I like do it different than I did it in class. That's why I like to be able to record because after the fact, my brain is a mess. Anyways, okay, so I asked them what the double hiding in here was. 
four plus four, and I was like, okay, we know four plus four is eight, so four, so eight and one more is nine. So then we practiced that a couple more times, and I had them do some mental math. Well, we did it on the board first. See, this is why I, I, this is why recording is helpful for my brain because I forget. So we know six plus six is twelve, so six plus seven is. 13, it's a double plus one, and I use that vocabulary every time. This is what I did, and I did it with all of the doubles, and then I took away my whiteboard, and we just did like a little bit of mental math, um, but I did the same thing. So I was like, we know five plus five is 10, so five plus six is 11, because it's a double, because it's a double and one more. I don't think I said good morning to you, but it's Thursday morning. I have a couple, well, I have like 20 minutes left on my prep. I have a mom who's here and she's helping prep some math task cards, um, which is exciting because I should get the rest of my organizational things for my math task cards. So those will be prepped forever now. Um, I was thinking last night because after we do addition within 20, we do subtraction within 20. I feel like I've always been good with teaching place value because I understand like it is literally the foundation of their math from here on out. Like place value is it. It is one of the most important understandings they need to have for math is place value. So I, I work really, really hard to hit it really, really hard and make sure they really understand place value. I have vlogs from last year that I filmed teaching some place value. If you wanna go back and watch, I'll see if I can find it and I'll link it for you up here in the I button. I spent my prep this morning going to some third grade classrooms and just kind of taking a look at like where they were in terms of place value and things that they were noticing right? just to see like oh like my third grade how um, some normal problems like I just popped in and I was like hey can you solve this problem for me um, which everyone here at my school is like super super nice and you can flow in and out of classrooms and talk to the kids like it's not an interruption it's not anything like that one of the kids I gave 75 minus 58 so they would have to borrow to solve that and they tried to do it just like in their head and they couldn't do it and they tried to do it um, some like really straight like adding and doing I don't know something crazy and at first he was trying to add eight eight plus five plus he got 53 five plus three is 53 and five plus nine and 54 I don't know what he was doing and then um he tried to do he's like okay so there's 20 left um, and so what I heard from third grade is that they're just like basic number sense is that's where they're struggling which is good for me as a first grade teacher to it's not good for me to hear but it's good for me to know because number sense is is so important and a lot of times you can you know speed past it because you think oh I have you know especially in first grade we have a lot of different strategies to teach and you can kind of get caught up in all the different strategies and kind of lose sight of do they even know what they're doing <laughs> so I don't know I like I like the little check-in just to kind of see where things are at um, and also how fast that they have to move especially with testing and things like that so anyways it was just a little bit eye-opening um, but I'll see what I can get for you <laughs> guys today but that's just what I was doing uh, during my prep. Yesterday we practiced doubles plus one. We're gonna do that again today. Tell oh, me the double that's hiding in this equation. Yeah, we have five, and five is our double that's hiding, right? So we know five and five is? Ten. And one more is? Eleven. Eleven. You're still gonna have your doubles buddy. So if you see one that says seven plus eight, we know seven plus seven is? Plus one more is? 15. You can still use your double buddy. You have to figure out which one is hiding. This is what you need to do first. If you get finished with your focus work, you can move into rocket math. And then after rocket math, sprinkle. If you finish that, you can move on to your math mission. Another thing Ms. Call Sprinkle for is the first grade team. Oh, I love this. Why do you think Miss Call had us work for a super long time to make these chains? Yeah, to be thankful for what you have around you. It can be something big or it can be something little, right? Mm -hmm. But we have a lot to be thankful for. Okay, what we're going to do is play a game we have never played before. Yeah. Some of you, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. You might know the game Jeopardy. Oh, oh I yeah. know that. I watched that game. Okay, so it has a bunch of different categories. So we have green. These are 
are gonna write your answer on your whiteboard. When everybody in your team has the answer, press your button and you get a chance to get the point. Single person has a whiteboard. Every single person is participating. You have to agree as a team what the right answer is. Okay. You have to agree. If someone thinks it's A and someone else thinks it's B, you need to figure it out. Whatever team agrees on their answer the fastest and everybody has their answer, gets to buzz. And the first one I hear, I will call on them. And if they are correct, they will get the point. Do you understand? Yes. Do you want the orange category? No. Yeah. Okay, what point value do you want? 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50? 10. Nibble. A, to run. B, to take small bites. C, to walk. D, to take large bites. Whisper talk. Everyone's whiteboard needs to have the same answer. All right, team three, show me your boards. Three says the answer is B, nibble, to take small bites. All right, team B, you have earned 10 points. Penny's <laughs> leg was sore from running, that makes sense, but the leg was in the field does not make sense. Keep discussing. Sorry, team two. I think that kind of does make sense though, so I'm gonna give you 10 points anyway. Today actually was a pretty good day, but I'm just exhausted. We did um, rhyme magic and sight words and poetry in the morning. Then we did, we read the book Thankful and we started making thankful chains and I hung them up all across our whiteboard. I think I filmed that for you guys, but here's our chain. It's going all the way over here. So for that activity, I put them into four teams and told them that they needed to make one chain. So everybody was adding to the same chain. They're not making separate chains. And they all had slips of paper and they just wrote things that they're thankful for. And I don't even know what half of them are, but that's okay. <laughs> I saw someone put like the PE teacher. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Um, so I gave some of the groups tape, which is what I told them to do was tape it. And then I didn't have enough tape dispensers. This actually isn't mine. It's another teacher's tape dispenser that I uh, stole. She brought, she gave it to me for this activity. But then I just gave the other groups that were a little bit more, like they had kids in it who I trusted a little bit more with um, these and they stapled them and they actually did wonderful. Like I showed them exactly how to do it. And so they made, every group made a chain. And you know, it really showed because we, we started the activity before lunch and one of the groups had like five on their chain. And other groups had like 15 chains already. And I was like, you guys need to figure out how to work together. Cause they had all their papers filled out, but they were like making different chains and it was just this whole mess. So, you know, a little lesson in teamwork. Um, but once they got it, they got it. So I connected them all at the very end. And then we played a like map test. If you do NWEA, you know, a little map test Jeopardy review game. Um, so I put them in four teams for that. Every person in the group had a whiteboard and they had buzzers, which again, I don't know where my buzzers are. Thought they were in my filing cabinet. I have no idea. Borrowed some from a teammate. Hers didn't have batteries. <laughs> Sent a kid to go get batteries. We played the game <laughs> and it was, <laughs> It didn't go very well because groups were randomized, but one group did have kids who, you know, like knew all the answers. And so that group had like 200 points and the other groups had like 20 points. But anyway, so we played that. Um, I hate NWEA. I really don't like it. And I'm just trying to get them used to the question formatting. I don't really even know if what we did today helped because it kind of just felt like some of the kids just had no clue what was happening regardless like they I don't know if it helps them or not so I don't know you just feel like that some days with some things so we did that then after that we did doubles again doubles plus one um and I have kids who have been out because they've been sick so many kids who have been out who've been sick who are coming in and they're like what's going on so had to reteach um but our math flow is working really well we still need to work on our volume control a little bit so I need to work on that because my kids they'll get really into whatever they're doing on the computer and then they'll scream out, yeah! Or they'll try to talk to their friends and their headphones are on so they're screaming. So we need to work on that. But that was our day. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I got a package. I have been making sure that I have centers, math centers prepped and good and saved. I am, how do I say this? 
I am switching my math centers that I had here or in these because before I was just taking the pouches and putting them like in a center for the kids. Also the headphones, love that. They're easier for the kids than the plastic pouches are, but the plastic pouches, does this make sense? For the kids, giving them to the kids, these pouches are easier. These are what they use for their like AR books. These are better because you can see through them. So I'm storing all of my math centers that are prepped in these so that I can find them easy, but for the kids, and I will reuse these in another way, for the kids, whatever our centers are for that week, like our math mission today was this one, I'm gonna move it to this bin. So that way, um, cause it's easier for them to like put up. We were in a rush today to be fair. I was like, oh no, like our math mission's on the floor and they just hurried and, and cleaned it but this this is much easier for them um because we have it all week so our math missions will be in those and i'll just reuse the same container but then grab the center from my filing cabinet if that makes sense so i'm going to transfer all of the math centers that i already had prepped all the little task cardy type ones into the clear pouches, plus some more that a mom helped prep for me today. I also have these little cover sheets that she laminated too. This is the during. Okay, we did it. Actually, we did it a long time ago. I got, I don't know, it is 523. I'm in one of those moods to organize and I have it in me to do it, I just do it, so. I did it. Are my math task cards, I'm calling it math mission with the kids. So what I've been doing and what I'm thinking I want to continue to do is two math missions a week, kind of like review things because we do focus work every single day and that's kind of like me seeing where they're at. I, may, I might make one of the math missions something we're doing this week, some, something we've done in the past, but they're doing work every single day now. That is something that we are learning in class. So focus work. Um, fluency on the computer, which is like rocket math, that's what it is. it is in our school. And then after that, they can do their math mission. After that, they can do math games. So if they complete both their math missions on Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, congratulations. You can play math games. <sighs> but here they are. Some of them I printed but don't have laminated and cut yet, like, like this one. Here. But I went ahead and put them in the folder anyway so I could organize them. I keep all of these types of things in my filing cabinet over here, which I've shown you guys before. Are all of my like read aloud pieces. Hey, we're gonna be doing this soon. And then like holidays around the world, which we'll be doing soon. Holiday stuff, St. Patrick's Day. I've shown this before, but in case you didn't see it. So these are the math centers I just prepped. I did kind of move things around so that I could try to put all or most of my addition things in green and like subtraction in red. Um, and then after that, this is like some like writing center stuff, just like miscellaneous things. And then over here is a little bit more like math type things. I don't know. It actually is pretty organized and like I know where everything is. I do have, I want to mention, because to be totally upfront, I do have, well now it's only like five kids who can't necessarily meet us where we're at on the grade level standard, but those kids, I try to pull a lot during math centers. This area is a mess. I know it doesn't look like a mess, but I promise. And I have alternate activities like puzzles and things that I can pull them aside and say, hey, will you work on this for me? So most of my class, I would say like, I don't know, 85% off the top of my head is going to be doing what I'm putting out there. Just so we remember, Mike. Yeah, you know how like Pete the Cat says, did Pete cry? Goodness, Goodness no, we're not gonna cry about that. Okay, five, 
plump turkeys sitting on the ground. Good. There is a vowel team in ground. O and U. Uh, o and U, but they say? Ow. Why can't we undo um, might? Because it's an I. Because that's the I-G-H. Do you want to? Yeah. Okay, this, uh, in the word might, the reason we hear that long I sound is I-G-H. Like in the word, let me zoom out. Like in the word might or sight, sight the word sigh, like a deep breath, a sigh. What's this word? Light. Light. I-G-H says I, okay? A-Y says A, E-Y says A, but sometimes it can say E. Turkey. Like in turkey. Under, under, under water. There, 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 there it is. Some, 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 some pizza. I completely forgot to vlog, but today is Friday. It is the very end of the day. I'm leaving and I realized I forgot to vlog. I don't even think I said hello this morning. I did make a new shirt. Here it is. I designed it last night. Um, it's based off of the school logo that we have, but I just kind of made it more like, I was, okay. I know it looks playing card. I was going for like vintage band t-shirt, but it's cute. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna give this um give this one away because I wanted it to be like a size larger than I normally wear because I wanted it to be like bigger, but I feel like I should have at least put the design lower on my body and maybe I wouldn't like mind it as much, but because I started it up here, I don't know. I'm just so picky when it comes to these things. So I'm giving this one away. Um, What do we do today? Today was a really great day. Honestly, it was wonderful up until the literal last 30 minutes. Like we have had one of the best days we've had so far. Um, we also did have a staff potluck today, which was crazy. There were so many things that people brought. And I just feel like our school like really like shows out. We like show up for each other too. So as far as content on this lovely Friday, we did our, we did our reading time. That went really well. We did our, actually that was like the best it's been in weeks. Even one of my moms who was in here was like, they did so great today. And then after that we did, I don't know. I don't even know if I filmed anything today. Honestly, I just feel like my brain has been a mess. Um, but here we are, we made it to Friday. But it's one of my students' birthday today and her mom came and brought pizza at the end of the day for them. Um, so we did that. Oh, and then they did free choice at the very, very end of the day, which is when I had just kind of a sad way to end the day, but they did really, really awesome all day today. It was our best day this week. What else? So my plans for the weekend are to decorate my house for Christmas. I don't do like my whole house decorating. Like we don't do much in our bedroom right now. I just... I usually just focus on like living room kitchen area. I would love to decorate our bedroom more for Christmas. I used to do it when I was in college when that's all I had, but now I just kind of like, I just do our living room. I don't know. I just haven't felt like, maybe this, maybe this will be the year that I actually like decorate our bedroom for Christmas. We're gonna decorate for Christmas this weekend. Probably watch some nice cozy Christmas movies. Also, I'm going to one of my girl's birthday party this weekend. She also lost her tooth today, so that was nice. <laughs> Just the other thing is we have so many kids who are so sick, like, just the stomach bug, like apparently our RSV is going around. I don't think any of my kids in my class have had it, but all these all these different illnesses <laughs> have been going around, and I'm just like, can we please make it to the holidays? Can we just get through it? Because they're dropping like flies. Like I had three kids go home today. So yeah, that was our Friday. But I wanna film some more sit down videos with you guys. So what is a topic that you want me to go more in depth on? Because I'm happy to do it for you in a sit down video. It was around this time of year that I filmed my phonics video for you guys and my callbacks and chants and all those other things. So let me know what you guys wanna see because I have more time now to film. Editing is really the issue, but I have more time and I wanna get something out for you that's going to help you. So whatever it is, leave your video ideas down below. If I pick your video idea, I'll send you a $5 Starbucks gift card. So thank you guys so much for watching again, being here with me every single week. Make sure you like this video if it was helpful or if you just liked hanging out with me, subscribe and join our family down below and I will see you in the next one.